Hi everyone, thanks for joining me here in front of our TV where we've watched countless movies over the years. One such as Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. You know, this movie reminds me of an incident I experienced a couple years ago. My son called, who lives in Chicago, and he says, Mom, someone broke into our house. They ransacked it. They, they opened up the cupboards and the refrigerator and emptied food all over the floor to keep the dogs occupied. They opened all our drawers and dumped them and rummaged through them. And then they took things like our computers, our laptops, all of my watches, including my wedding watch. And they even took my um, daughter-in-law's inherited jewelry from her grandma. But worst of all, they took her wedding ring, which included a diamond she inherited from her grandpa's ring. She had been saving it for years and my son had her ring custom made. It was so sad. I was devastated and I was mad. You know, I got off the phone and I said to myself, ha, there's no chance that they will find that ring in a city of nearly 9 million people. What are the chances? Do the math. Find the rain? There's no way. And I kind of dismissed it and went about my way. You know, it probably was across the state line by the time she made the call to me. It could be in Canada for all we know. That's how I would do it if I was organizing some sort of crime. But what I did that day when I had so many doubts is I basically slammed the door of faith in God's face. You know, we've had to exercise a lot of faith over these past few weeks during the coronavirus. And you know, these trials, they develop our faith. Trials are a tool to grow our faith as John is sharing in his sermon series. What have you learned about your faith in these last few weeks? Well, let's return to my son's dilemma and I'm gonna share with you what I learned through this terrible ordeal. My daughter-in-law, she calls me up. She goes, Leanne, a friend of a friend who's married to a policeman said that he heard there was a big amount of jewelry that ended up in a pawn shop just eight miles away from our house. So I called up my detective that was handling my case and we traveled down there and lo and behold, there was most of my jewelry, but most of all, my diamond ring. It has been retrieved. Leanne, I'm so excited, she said. I was too. I got off the phone and I was so excited, but I heard a voice from God. And this is what he said. Leanne, I want you to know that I will do whatever I please whenever I please. I can locate a tiny ring in a huge city of millions if I choose to. Nothing is too difficult. Nothing is impossible for me. Nothing. I got it talking to that day and I listened. You know what I did, honey? I shrunk the Lord. I shrunk the Lord to the level of my faith. Owe me a little faith. Shame on me. Shame on me. You know, God's not intimidated by anything. Nothing. Never, ever. So never lose your faith. Never in any circumstances you find yourself in. Listen to this verse out of Ephesians. Now to him who's able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine. Imagine according to his power that is at work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations. For when? Forever and ever and ever. Never lose your awe and wonder in what the Lord can do for you. He'll do what he pleases, whatever he pleases. Don't lose your faith. And honey, don't shrink the Lord. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, that we don't have the ability to shrink you. Even when our faith wavers, you are strong and you are mighty and you are full of wonder. Thank you, Jesus, that you will come and take care of us regardless of our level of faith. But grow our faith even when we are experiencing trials today. Encourage us 
Thank you, Lord, that you give us the Holy Spirit to encourage us in our faith and in our walk in you. But may we be careful to give you the glory in all these circumstances. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.